I'm tired of getting the calls. I think everybody does get them. Viewer Gary contacted 10 on your side saying he's been inundated with robocalls from people trying to get his bank card information. He says the last time he refused to give out the sensitive information, he got quite the surprise. She went from being a squeaky voice woman to a deep voice guy who then proceeded to curse me out for wasting his time. Gary and so many others can easily become targets of spoofing. That's where people disguise their phone numbers to make it look like they're calling from a legitimate agency. Here are some simple things you can do to avoid becoming a victim. Listen to this former robocaller. Spoofing is, is to call somebody using robo-dialing technology and make it look like the call is coming from Apple Computer or Microsoft and that they're calling you um, because you have uh, a credit if you just give them your credit card number. This is Erie from Apple Support. They will spoof a caller ID like they're from the IRS and they will call you and tell you that you have an overdue tax bill of $7,000 and that there's a warrant out for your arrest for non-payment of taxes but you could settle it today for $500 pennies on the dollar if you if you go ahead and, and send us the money today, we'll close this matter out. The IRS has now made available new programs. Robocalls are the number one complaint at the Federal Trade Commission, which sues violators to pay fines. How do we stop the calls? First, don't answer calls from an unknown number. And if you do, hang up immediately. If you do answer and the caller asks you to hit a button to get more info or stop getting calls, don't do it. The FCC warns it could lead to fraudulent charges. Also, don't respond to any questions, especially with yes or no answers, and never give out personal information. And don't forget, you can also find more tips on our website. Just go to abc10.com robocalls.